Alright, next up on Newsnight, this comes from Spain. And it says, Spain will pay jobless immigrants to go home under new plans that were revealed today. So that means the country of Spain will pay for immigrants, that means foreigners who live in their country, who are jobless. And if you're jobless, that means you do not have a job. So they will pay them to go home. That means go back to their home country. If you're an immigrant in Spain and you have no job, the Spanish government will send you home and they'll pay for it. The measure was approved at a cabinet meeting uh, after it was passed through Parliament. The plan, which will come into force in around a month, so in October, targets tens of thousands of non-EU citizens who have been laid off in Spain, laid off means lost your job in Spain, and are entitled to unemployment benefits. Ooh. Under the plan, a jobless worker would receive a payment based on how long they have been working and how much they have been contributed into the social security system. So even immigrants pay taxes and they have to pay into the uh, social security system of that company and depending on how much they put in and how long they've lived there Spain will give it back. Alright, the average lump sum, that means the amount of money that they will give is expected to be between six and eighteen months worth of unemployment benefit. So they will receive the sum in two parts, 40 percent while in Spain and 60 percent when they have returned to their native country. Whoa. People who sign up for it must agree not to come back to Spain for three years with the promise that they will be able to recover their work and residency permits after that. So not only do you have to leave, you have to leave for three years and they give you all this money. Now check this out. This plan is the latest plan by the government who is struggling with uh, growing jobless trends in Spain, in the economy. And they're close to a recession, so they want to get rid of all these unemployed foreigners. Spanish unemployment is now the highest in the EU at 10.7%. That's a lot of people. So, the meltdown, that means the slowing economy, is mainly from a collapse in the construction industry, the main engine of all growth and the key source of employment for low-skilled workers from Latin America, North Africa, and Eastern Europe. So, I don't know. If I was from Latin America or North Africa or Eastern Europe, I would take this deal. Because 18 months of unemployment benefits in euros is a lot of money back in your home country. You could do well for that back there. Alright, so Spain, trying to get rid of them foreigners. Hopefully Korea won't try to get rid of me. <laughs> 